I don't really do too much vlogging and such on the outside. I'm outside of my house, what have you. Just kind of wandering around in the yard or whatever the case may be. But I actually wanted to kind of do a quick a video real quick. It's a nice day outside here in the south. A lot of mild temperatures and such. But anyway, I was on a social media website, Facebook, what have you. And I was talking about you know they were talking to my social group that I usually you know correspond with from time to time on Facebook they were talking about um, you know the Million Man March and for the most part how effective it they expected for it to be you know how successful they wish for it to be you know what's gonna happen afterwards you know did it really accomplish anything you know are you know we as black people are we really going to change you know our ways for the better are we really going to unite for the most part and be just kind of much just pretty much be um, better people because of its cause you know and it and the traditions and everything that is actually uh, for or that is actually that the million man march actually stands for as far as the from the black perspective and you know for the most part you know we all were of course encouraged to give our input and everything and for the most part and you know for those of you that was actually able to look at my last video that I actually posted on Facebook and such like that, you know, for the most part, my views and such, I, I stand a wholeheartedly 100% behind other things that I say. I mean, because again, I'm not going to change just because what somebody else wants me to say just to kind of fit their uh, agendas or what, whatever the case may be. But for the most part, um, you know, I began to express those exact opinions and such, you know, from what I said to the video to some of the people, you know, to actually to all of the people that was in my uh, group there on the social website. And, you know, I pretty much, as expected, was met with a lot of criticism and a lot of, you know, I guess kind of mean things that was actually said. I mean, and the thing about it is that I can say one thing that I actually learn every day to not really look for acceptance from people even your own your own folks you know you have to be strong in yourself and your opinions and you know your viewpoints and just be prepared to defend them with you know uh i would say acceptable uh you know thoughts and you know and reasonable opinions and such like that you know because again when you're talking about anything here on facebook or on youtube it all boils down to your point of view which a lot of people can pretty much say that it's your opinion. But anyway, whenever I give my voice to anything, I want to make sure that it's um, well documented, well supported, and that I'm actually able to defend anything that I actually say. You know, and for the most part, I did that. And I'm not trying to toot myself on the back, but I felt that I did that quite well. But, you know, I just kind of want to go back, I guess, and kind of reiterate a couple of things. I guess that... Um, a lot of people, I guess, seem to kind of got in an uproar about when I was actually expressing my viewpoints uh, on my last video that I did regarding the Million Man March. One thing that I actually don't appreciate or that I will not ever allow anybody to do to me is to railroad how I think. I don't care who you are, where you got your training, how many degrees you have, you know, what type of family you come from, your religious background and all of that type of stuff. Um, I will not allow anybody to take my choices away from me. And I mean that wholeheartedly, you know. And the thing about it is that from my viewpoint, from how I'm actually seeing things, from how I actually look at this whole particular movement, you know, the Million Man March doesn't actually represent anything, in my opinion, that's actually positive, even though it wants to present itself as being positive. You know, for the most part, my opinion is that it's a way for uh, black folks to become enslaved once again. And for the most part, um, for those of you that can think, I'm pretty much sure that you can pretty much understand why, you know, why I say that. Um, for the most part, you know, when I was actually going on and looking at some of the, um, some of the, uh, I guess videos that was actually being done after the Million Man March and even some that was done before and maybe even some that was done during you know a lot of people were saying you know there was a lot of people that were there of course you know black folks and you know that sort of thing and for the most part you had some people you know that was actually angry 
because they felt that not all black people were actually giving the attention to this particular cause that it deserved. Now, see, for me, I already told you what I was going to be doing when they actually uh, wanted to post that or when they actually wanted to do that uh, particular movement in Washington, D.C. I told you that I was going to be looking at television and carrying on my life as normal, you know, doing things that is important to me and what I want to do. But for some reason, you know, you actually have a lot of supporters of, you know, that movement that was actually upset because, number one, and this is what I heard from a lot of people, and this is what actually was told to me also during my Facebook, you know, conversation, is that, you know, during this march, it was recorded live, you know, from, or from a lot of different outlets, you know, maybe some that was from around the world or what have you, but some of the main TV networks, you know, the ones that are, for the most part, all about black folks, you know, i.e. B-E-T, you know, some of them were actually choosing to air cartoons from what I was told, um, from what I actually heard and researched and what have you, rather than actually air the um, Million, Man, Million Man March. And for the most part, you know, most some of the people that actually support the movement was actually in an uproar because of it, because they felt that, you know, that should have been, you know, time that should have been devoted to something that was worthy, you know, of its cause, you know, for the most part. Okay, and you know because of that, you know we have a lot of people now that are upset. You know, a lot of people that are angry. You know that a television show or a network that is devoted to you know our world, our culture, you know our being, they're afraid. You know, are angry that you know they would choose to air cartoons in its slot as opposed to airing the live you know rally or whatever the case may be at up there in Washington D.C., i.e., the Million Man March. And I felt that that was kind of funny that, you know, people would actually get upset about that. And I actually, I guess I kind of pissed some folks off because I was laughing off, laughing at it. Because the thing about it is that, again, I don't mind being different. I don't mind being the odd person out. As a, as a matter of fact, I'm actually comfortable with that. There's no place I would rather be. But the issue is, is that, you know, they got upset because, you know, I was like, well, number one, I mean, you cannot take that cause seriously. I mean, real talk, you cannot really sit there and take that Million Man March, you know, the concept, the message, the, you know, the things that they want you to take back to your homes and enforce. You can't take it seriously because, again, it all boils down to wanting to put on, you know, wanting to actually, again, play the victim. You know, we need to take back our communities. We need to take back. I agree with all of that. I mean, like I say, you know, too much of our culture has been diluted. I mean, like I say, I, I, I agree with that totally. You know, all of that type of stuff. You know, they may not have said that per se, word for word. But like I say, you know, I can read between the lines and stuff like that. I'm not a dummy. But the issue is, is that, you know, we need to really look more beyond what a person says and look really at why they're saying what they're saying. And again, I, I'm not going to change my stance at all for anybody. You know, you can love me, hate me, you know, but anyway, you know, I'm going to still exist. I'm going to still eat, breathe, you know, go to the bathroom, do everything I got to do to live just like the next person. The thing about it, again, is that I will not be railroaded into how to think because, again, I can do that quite well for myself. You know, but I'm glad that this particular movement is over, you know, even though, like I said, it never really should have happened in the first place because, again, it's not going to really change anything because it all boils down to promoting one's self as being, you know, I guess, down and out. You know, and the thing about it, again, is that I, I don't like to, you know, surround myself around people who constantly want to dig up where we came from you know i am not an ignorant person i know where my culture where my people i all i know all about where you know how we were brought over just to work the fields and tend to you know masses garden and all this other type of stuff you know we learn about that stuff through history you know we learn about that in history and everything like that but the thing about it is that we can work to change history and see the thing about it is that it's I but it's I believe like I say that I don't like to surround myself with people who like to keep me thinking about and dwelling on the past. That was the past. You know, the future is there for a reason. It's to for you know to go out and do something different, you know, do different business ventures and 
you know, that sort of thing, you know, just to kind of just go out and do your own thing, make things happen on your own terms. I don't need anybody to sit there to kind of remind me that this is where you came from, you know, and this is what the white man wants you to be and he wants to keep you in a state. I already know pretty much the odds are against me as a black man. And I've been fighting for that just like any other black man throughout, you know, since I, since I existed through employment, through education, and even, and like I said, through all of that, I still came out on top. Like I say, and I didn't have to go back and remind folks of where I came from to do that. I was able to do that through hard work, sweat, even a bit of crying at times, frustration, prayer, faith in God, my goodness. You know, and he saw me through. But the issue is, like I say, you know, it's not that Million Man March. I live near a Navy base, so that's pretty much, you know, I'm hearing some airplanes, naval helicopters and such. But... But my thing is that, like I said, I cannot surround myself around people, even if it's my own kind, that want to continue to look at his own folks, not himself, but look at his own, at his people as being hopeless. Like I say, you know, I have a lot more pride. I have a lot more, you know, respect for myself than to look at that, especially with the opportunities that are given to us as black Americans. You know, so the question is now, what's going to actually happen now that this movement is over? You know, what's going to happen to the people that was actually and the black preachers and all of those prominent figures that was there? You know, what is how is this going to influence or promote change? That's the question, you know, and the thing about it again is that when you, you want to be a part of something that's actually going to be proven to do something different than what's already there. And the issue is, is that we've actually had the, you know, the Million Man March, what, 20 years ago? And for the most part, you know, it was done by, you know, and it, the, the, the same agenda was pretty much there as it was with this one. You know, for the most part, to kind of uh, spit in the white man's face, if you will. But again, you can't expect change when you're doing the same thing over and over. You can't, you, it's not going to happen. When you're doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results, that's the classic definition of what I would like to call insanity. And the thing about it is that you have a lot of insane leaders, black leaders that are actually promoting and instilling, trying to instill hate. But and the thing about it, they're trying to do it in such a way that's professional, you know, that's all about, you know, that's not there to offend anybody and such. And it's like, you know, it's like I can see right through it. You know, and you 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 really have to come better with that. Like I say, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a racist person. Like I say, I get along with anybody. Treat me with respect, and I'm going to return that to you. You know, and even if you disrespect me, I'm going to still somehow find a way to respect you. However, I'm going to let you know that you are out of line because I'm not anybody's doormat. But my thing is that, like I say, you know, do something and be a part of something that's going to inspire change. That's all I'm going to say. You know, you got to be able to be a part of something that is going to be proven to change for the change the folks of America for the better. You know, and, and there's nothing wrong with telling, you know, young fellow African-American black folks to be proud of who you are. I, I am all aboard that. I'm all over that, you know. Like I say, love the skin that you're in. You know, don't try to call, don't let this world want to transform you to, you know, accept to be what they want you to be. You know, be your own person, do your own thing. You know, don't go crazy with it. But you just have to learn to just not let people make decisions and do their thinking for you. You do your own thinking. And if you, and if you happen to fail, you know, while, you know, you're executing your own plan, then you know what? It's all good because that was something that you did and you did alone nobody railroaded you into doing it so now guess what you're going to learn from it and you're going to be a lot better at it come next time so like i say i hope that this post actually makes a lot of sense again i don't really vlog outside but you know i figured you know i just kind of changed something up because i'm tired of sitting you know in my uh living room you know talking into a camera but like i say you know in order to get different results you have to do something different and like I say, and if what you've been doing over and over again hasn't worked, then guess what? The fool is not the people, it's their leader. All right, peace out.